Hey, weaving pals, here's a super short yet tantalizing Dueling Rabbits Productions teaser by me, Amy, demonstrating a great way to tie safety strings to the shaft bars of a Swedish-style loom. Swedish looms are awesomely simple tools, but sometimes simplicity can lead to consternation, as when the smooth wooden shaft bars tilt or slip, causing Texolve heddles to fly off in all directions. String retainers, strung through the holes that can be found at either end of most shaft bars, are essential tools in any hand weaver's kit. For double harness weavers, safety strings can save lives. If shaft bars are being used to weight pattern units rather than lingos, for example, the strings will keep the pattern heddles where they need to be and avert catastrophe should the shaft bars suddenly tip sideways. Some sort of retainer is also needed when weaving with half heddle sticks. I always drill holes in my improvised sticks so that I can rig strings quickly and efficiently. There are many ways to tie the strings, but this one's my favorite. Here's a shaft bar for my 100 cm draw loom. You can see its holes in either end. This one's a bit too long to film easily, so I'm going to demonstrate on a short half heddle stick where I've drilled holes for the string. Works just the same on a regular shaft bar. First, I take up a cone of my trusty Sane Twine and cut a piece that's twice the length of the bar plus a few inches extra. I fold the string in half and make a loop. I pass the loop through one of the holes and pull it through. I pull the loop over the end of the shaft bar and bring the free ends of the string through it. I snug it up a bit. I feed the free ends through the hole at the opposite end of the bar again from front to back. I pull it reasonably tight and separate the ends to draw them forward on opposite sides of the stick. I tie a knot, not too tight, and cut the ends. We're done. I do find it easier to rig the strings on a table before I install the shaft bar on the loom. It's easy to undo the string when necessary, do whatever needs to be done on the bar, and then loop the string back through. After I've used the string a few times, it's often loose enough to secure one-handed. The same string can be used again and again before its knot fails or it frays to oblivion. I hope you'll join me next time for the main event when we put a few of these strings through their paces and see how they work in action.